Oracle have been working on Fusion applications for many years now and have put in a lot of effort in making sure it's going to be a, a next generation platform for its customers that will really redefine the way enterprise applications are thought of. Fusion Applications is made up by a number of different modules. Some of these you may be uh, familiar with from the old e-business suite like financials. All of these modules are a complete rewrite of the whole platform, building in best practices from e-business suite and Siebel and PeopleSoft and the other products that Oracle have acquired over the last five years but being based on a brand new middleware platform that will enable these applications to evolve over time, to be easier to upgrade, to be a lot easier to integrate with your existing applications, and moreover to provide a, a greater user experience to your users and to build in flexibility into the product. Seven modules here are split into a number of sub-modules, so you can see by this slide how much is being released within the first releases of Fusion applications. Each of these modules is, is made up by a, a set of smaller modules that you can take on its own or in packages such as Oracle Financial Management. Each of these are all based on the same Fusion middleware, a platform to actually deliver these applications and as such can be plugged and played together and can coexist with your exact existing applications and limited strategy. Fusion was built on a set of guiding principles. The first and, and maybe one of the most important principles for Oracle was to build this on an industry-leading standard-based platform but to, to help with upgrades, to help with integrating with existing applications and moreover to just make sure that you were not tied in from a platform point of view to, to Oracle. It's also built on a number of best practices business processes that have been extracted out of eBusiness Suite, PeopleSoft, JD Edwards, Siebel, Retech, all of their leading applications that are currently on the market. So they've actually taken the processes out of those applications, added to that industry best practice, so gone through a number of years of dialogue with industry experts to, to come up with the first best practice processes for each of your business processes. And based on that, actually come up with common definitions of the data elements that interact with that business process. And again, ran that past industry leaders to determine the most flexible and um, the, the most flexible way to represent that data. The third guiding principle is all about user experience. Over the last two years, Oracle have held a number of user experience labs where they've got customers and partners over, over to America and done via, via the web to look at the way that they use modern applications, to look from everything as detailed as where buttons should pl be placed to actually the layout of the screen and how users would interact with an application to really take these applications away from being data-based, where a screen is purely based on the way your database is structured, to more based around the, the tasks and the business processes in how you do your daily job. So you'll see through a few screens that I'm going to show in the next couple of slides how Fusion Applications is a lot more workspace-based, a lot more task-based, and a lot more process-centric than, than Oracle applications and, and existing applications in a lot of businesses are at the moment. It's, with it being based on standards and with it being uh, based on a new modern architecture makes it a lot easier to deploy in a variety of different scenarios. So it makes it a lot easier either to run it as software as a service across a public cloud or to install locally within a private cloud. The important things about this this uh, cloud buzzword that, that's really going around the industry at the moment 
is not just the ability to share your installations with other customers. I, I think that's going to be a lot less common. I think what's more common is just the virtualization aspects of the cloud, of being able to scale your application on demand or actually move that application to different data centers as and when you actually choose. I think that the final guiding principle was that Oracle were not going to go through this journey on their own. They designed this in collaboration with their customers and partners existing users of eBusiness Suite and non-existing users of, of their current applications to make sure that the platform was, was, was standard-based and could fit in with a variety of customers' existing architecture so that the user experience was, was ahead of its game, was based on a lot of Web 2.0 and social, um, social application type, uh, type techniques such as making sure that within any page that you are in, you can easily hover over someone's name, get all of their contact information in, and maybe even start a chat session with, with them. Embedded intelligence is absolutely key here as well. They've realized through those, those industry sort of talks that people, when they do their normal daily job and tasks, need as much information about, enough context about that maybe that application for credit or maybe that customer that they're actually getting a complaint from, as much information at their hands and fingertips as possible. So rather than going to separate business intelligence tools, actually embedding those, those, those metrics and those analyses within the task page that you're actually working on. The same with documents and document management. Instead of having to go to a separate document store, actually having those accessible within the screens and the UI that you're actually working with. And then there's the technology and the infrastructure elements of this to try and make sure it's very easy to install, very easy to work within your existing data centers or you know, supporting virtualized and hosted solutions. This really, this slide shows you the, the architecture really of, of, of Oracle Fusion applications. The idea is that each of the key data elements at the bottom of the page here are adhering to certain industry standards. They're all XML based and they're all uh, common across all of the different modules. So the employee module that's used in, in, Oracle fi in Fusion Financials is the same model that's used in Fusion CRM to make it easier not only to integrate between the different modules, but to make it open and easy to integrate with your existing applications, whether they be Oracle-based or not. Layered on top of this data is a set of business services or business functions that can interact with that data. These may be just very data-centric to enable you to insert a new employee, or there may be a lot more business function focus to enable you to enroll a new, uh, you know, a new student or a new em employee onto a certain scheme. These services alone are, are, are very useful and give you that granularity of being able to understand what is actually in that product, but alone they do not do the job. What you need to do then is link those functions together into a best practice business process, whether this be to order to cash, whether it be uh, employee onboarding, whether it be a loan application processing, whether it be commodity-based processes that are baked into Fusion, or whether it be your own specific differentiating processes that you're going to extend from within Fusion. And then the, the layered on top of this is the user experience, so the screens and the alerts and the uh, applications that are going to allow you to interact with those processes and services giving you exactly what you need to do to do that task, how to get it done, and most importantly with Infusion, who, what, what documents and who can actually help you get that done. So Fusion is very much about collaborative working. All of this based on open standards. Drilling down into a bit more technical detail of, of this, um, after I've shown you these screens, but first of all, I just want to give you a bit of a sample 
of, of how these screens look. So here's a few screenshots from Fusion applications. You'll see this looks very different from your traditional application where you may see um, just data elements being, being displayed in, in standard tables or standard layouts. What we have here is a lot more UI components making it easier to interact with that data. So here you see an example from human capital management application whereby instead of just seeing a screen with these employee details, you're seeing this rich modern UI that enables you to drag these about or drill down and expand on each uh, hierarchical structure. You're seeing a lot more charts and a lot more task-driven um, usages within the UI whereby if you're looking at an employee you may want to see some some histories of, of, of certain data within them or their performance so again more graphical and more um, rendered within charts. We're seeing here an example of some of the, the, the tasks that need to be done. This is within Fusion projects where you're getting a list of your tasks and some analytics to, to support those tasks. You'll see charts absolutely everywhere, but you'll also see common components whereby if you hover over a certain symbol, you'll get more information about that. So instead of having to click between multiple screens, it's very much workspace based of being able to just get everything at your fingertips within the screens that are near the key within Fusion. Here's an example of their compliance and, and governance tool where again we're seeing very task driven and process driven view of, of, of your business where you're seeing a work list with all the tasks that need to be done. Okay, now all of this architecture um, is, is based on a pretty standard blueprint called Fu Fusion Architecture whereby instead of these screens accessing the data directly, they are going through a number of layers. All of these layers are implemented within Oracle Fusion middleware. So you'll see here that those seven modules all absolutely um, you know, are based on Fusion middleware. 